What's up guys, it's Jeff with I Download Blog. So Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 9 was released just a few minutes ago and it's quite a bit different from the previous version of Red Snow. One difference that's gonna stand out is this right here, the header. Welcome to Red Snow, but the new version says this is the latest version of Red Snow. So it actually tells you whether or not it's the latest version, which is really nice. And as you can see here is the change log of sorts on the dev team's blog. There's a lot of different changes here. Of course, the biggest thing is native support for iOS 5.0.1, you don't have to point firmware. iBooks is fixed. Um, you can it supports the newest iPhone 4, the 8 gigabyte iPhone 4. It supports app tickets. It also supports custom firmware creation in Windows. Of course, this was a Mac only feature at one point in time, but now Windows has that. Lots of other changes. You can find it on our post on iDownload blog. Here is my iPhone 4. It is running iOS 5.0.1. So this is the latest publicly available firmware available. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my 30 pin cable here, put the device into DFU mode, and we're going to just jailbreak this thing outright. We're not going to have to worry about pointing it to any other firmware or anything like that because this latest version of Red Snow supports iOS 5.0.1. So that is a huge relief and makes jailbreaking a lot faster. You don't have to go hunting for older firmware just to be able to jailbreak your device. So all you literally have to do is just click on jailbreak and you're good to go. So we'll click jailbreak here and it'll start the jailbreak process. No pointing the firmware required. So I'll just go through the process here. It shouldn't take long at all. Sped it up about two times just to expedite this for you guys. So you can see exactly what the process looks like. This is super easy. It really doesn't get any easier than this. Of course, this is a tethered jailbreak as you'll see here in just a second. It'll tell you once it's finished uploading the RAM disk and uploading the kernel and rebooting. So you'll see it, there it is, tethered jailbreak. So just an FYI, this is not an untethered jailbreak. Don't get your hopes up just yet. It's coming folks, just be patient. All right, so let's head over to our iPhone. You should see like the matrix mode going on right now uh, once the jailbreak is started. And you'll see that here momentarily. Okay, there it is. And so we'll go ahead and speed it up there just to expedite things. The jailbreak completed. Now all we need to do is put our device back into DFU mode so that we can perform a tethered boot because again, this is a tethered jailbreak. So we'll just hold the home button for a few more seconds there and we should be in the DFU mode. Now we can head back over to Red Snow and all we need to do from here is just click on just boot and it'll perform a tethered boot. And again, we'll speed things up a bit just to expedite the process so you guys can see the end result. So we're patching the files and we are done. So let's look at our device here and you should see a black screen followed by the Pone Apple. So we're almost there. We're actually in the home stretch right now and we should come back up in just a second and we should see the Cydia logo on our home screen once we unlock our device. So just a few more seconds and we should be complete. So that is the new an improved version of Red Snow has lots of new features, but the best feature, of course, is the ability to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 without referencing any other firmware. This makes it really easy. There you go, folks. Let me know what you guys think about this latest version of Red Snow. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.